Uh, my name is Tamis Musia and I will be your host this, af this afternoon as well as at the tournament this weekend. Um, I wasn't sure if I need introduction because I've been part of this tournament for a while now and every year we see the same faces that come here to support the tournament. Colin is here, Zwake is here. I've seen you every year for the past 10 years guys and it's good to see that you're still involved in youth football. Uh, but firstly, thank you to the host vets for hosting us here this afternoon and also for hosting the tournament. Uh, we've had um, wonderful action at the fields over the past few years and we're grateful to be here again. We'd also like to thank um, Safa and uh, Safa National as well as Safa Johannesburg represented by the President, uh, Mr. Phil Mukhodu and Colin Knight is also here today. Uh, Prof. Phil Mukhodu is here and we just want to say we're grateful to Safa for allowing us to play again it's 21 years of this tournament and i think we all know that without safa nobody can play football uh, if you don't have permission from safa to play you can never have your tournament go ahead i know there were challenges a couple of months ago but we are grateful that um safa and engine have found each other and safa is in partnership with engine for this uh, tournament because it is a big tournament in the football calendar a lot of uh, not only the players boys and girls look forward to it but the coaches and the scouts and everybody else look forward to this tournament so we really appreciate the support once again that we have received from safa for this tournament to continue so thank you uh, president of safa johannesburg for the support and long may it continue also thank you to our sponsors engine thank you kevin is here um, Gavin is the communications manager at engine kevin smith he is here and engine has been holding this tournament for 21 years and um, I mentioned at one of the launches that even during COVID actually when most of the companies were pulling out of whatever they were doing because of financial constraints Engine stayed with the tournament with online sessions with Coach Pizzo Musimane, Coach Gavin Hunt, uh, Amanda Tamini, Coach Simpue Luzu just to keep the boys and the girls engaged and during that time actually the latest tournament was introduced unfortunately it fell in the year of COVID but the following year the girls were able to play um, and I've got to say women's football is growing in leaps and bounds in this country uh, so thank you to Engine for their continued support of this tournament uh, 21 years it's a big milestone and we all know some of the players that have come through this tournament the current captain of Bafana, uh, Ronald Williams uh, the current footballer of the season, Tebo Homogwena, we saw him play at this field for Harmony Sports Academy alongside Sipongule in the same midfield. They ended up at Supersport United, and we all know after they go to Supersport United where they end up, <laughs> they end up with their senior team, which is Sundown, so from a feeder team to a senior team. So these are just some of the current examples that we'd just like to make. Last year in the girls tournament, we had the under 20 coaches coming. Uh, Coach Simpuet Luzu was assisting. They picked six players uh, from the tournament. And the following week, we saw them make their debuts for the national under 20 girls team. So uh, we really have some wonderful success stories, not from even the days of Brighton and Songo when they won it, but even from last year now, we can count uh, success stories of this tournament. So thank you, Engine, for your continued uh, support. And uh, welcome to the members of the media, also see the same faces here, always here to support the tournament, we really appreciate it because without the media we can't get the message out there, so it's important uh, for the media to be part of this tournament and to feel like they are part of this tournament. Welcome Brighton, Brighton is one of our ambassadors for um, Gauteng, he did a fantastic job last year, even making sure the tournament lives on social media using his own resources and we're looking forward to more of the same Brighton. We've seen you've got a good, a good um, following and you're a big supporter of this tournament, so it's great to have you here. Brighton was actually with us in Devon also this past weekend, even though he was not the ambassador for Devon, but he was there, which shows his commitment to the tournament. And talking about Devon, we crowned champions yesterday. It was the first leg of the knockout challenge in KZN and there was some great football in that tournament. So we'd like to congratulate Amazulu. Amazulu won it in Devon. They lost the first match. They lost the first match. And then I was there before the sec after the match when Coach Andy Letzele and Coach Yerenelo were speaking to them. And they said to the boys, remember Argentina lost their first match in the World Cup and they went on to win the tournament. And it worked. It worked. Amazulu won the tournament. Penalties in the quarters, penalties in the semis. 
They beat the defending champions 1-0 in the final. So well done to Amazulu. They will be coming for the champ of champs. Also congratulations to Devon Ladies Women's Football Club. They won the ladies tournament. They beat the champions, which were Sunflower in the final. 1-0, late, late goal. It was heartbreak. I mean, the other team was in tears. You can understand they considered so late. Um, so that's what happened in Devon. And what was wonderful to see in Devon, just talking about the growth of women's football, was that there was one PSL team that sent scouts to Devon from the first day at 9 o'clock when the games kicked off on Friday. Their scout was there and he was there the whole morning. And I think we know which team sent a scout, only one team. And his mandate from what he told us, I hope he doesn't mind us sharing this, was that he was there to look for boys. Because with the girls, They've got a good program going on, but they're also full and they don't have space for the girls. So the money was to look for boys. But the first player he saw in the tournament was a girl. And he said he's going to make an exception and he's going to try and bring this girl up to, 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 to Gauteng because she was so good. He called the chairman and they made arrangements. I'm not sure how far their arrangements went, but for me, it just shows the growth of women's football that scouts are there to watch the boys, but they end up signing the girls. So we're looking forward to more of the same at this tournament with the girls, with the UJ being the defending champions of the engine knockout challenge and the champ of champs. And Kaiser Chiefs also the defending champions, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> they are the defending champions of the knockout and the champ of champs. So let's see if they can defend their title this year. in the video, the passion that is shown by the players, what it means to them, 
um, is, is truly, truly something that uh, we as a company value, um, knowing that um, you know, we provide some small support to these young players um, in their respective football journeys. Um, yeah, just in terms of um, new things that have been added over the past, past few years, the fact that women's football is um, receiving the, the, the attention and the support that it always should have been, uh, we are, you know, it took us a long time to get involved in women's football, but over the last three years that uh, we have um, had a, a women's uh, tournament, um, we now see the excitement around Banyana Banyana, uh, the participation of the World Cup. Um, if we can provide a platform for uh, young hopefuls that may well go on to, to play in national teams in years to come, um, as a company, we also very, very honored and humbled. But to members of the media, everybody else who's turned out today, uh, we thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts. Okay, thanks, Gavin. Any questions for Gavin? Otherwise, I'll ask the questions myself because my job is to interview people. Maybe if you can grab that mic, Gavin. No questions on the floor, no takers. I mean, you mentioned banana banana, so maybe we can start. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> But, but I think it's a good point you make because I've seen since Banyana won, Wafcon women's football keeps growing and there's more interest and with their participation in this World Cup, I think it will also reignite the interest in women's football. But I just wanted to ask about the fashion designer partnership and the women's football focus. I see you brought a new element. What is it all about? Um, the, 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 the fashion focus is, like the Asian Knockout Challenge, provides opportunities to uh, young footballers to showcase their talents and skills. Um, this partnership with a young fashion designer um, in Cape Town was to provide a local fashion designer firstly and a local clothing company with an opportunity um, to showcase exactly what, what they can do and the designs that they um, can bring to the party. And we know there's an incredible amount of talent, um, not just within football circles in this country, but um, in terms of creativity, in terms of business acumen, and uh, we hope that giving him a platform to showcase what he's, what he's capable of uh, or, you know, lead him on to, to create a heights and years to come. In terms of, you know, just in terms of women's football, I mean, I think I, t I touched on it. And again, it's opportunity. We know if people are given opportunities, um, you know, the sky's the limit. Not to uh, paraphrase a PSR team. That was my line. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Um, thanks, Gavin. I think that's clear. And we're going to move on now to SAFA. I would like to call up upon the president of SAFA, Johannesburg, uh, Mr. Phil Mohodi, just to come and say a few words. I did mention that without SAFA, it's not possible for anybody to play. We need permission from SAFA. We need to respect SAFA. And once again, we're grateful that SAFA has. Um, has seen the importance of this tournament. I know Brafil has been with us here almost every single year and he understands what the tournament is about and they've allowed the tournament uh, to go ahead and that the tournament, as I mentioned, would not be possible without the support of SAFA. So, President, if you can just come and say a few words. I know you've always got a few words for your coaches also. <laughs> thanks for coming. <laughs> to say thanks to, to Indian. I've got my team here, got in. Uh, you are not the chairperson of the uh, LFA here, you are the executive member of Southern Johannesburg, Mr. <laughs> Colin Jones, you are here. And I was, I, th I think that's a good question. How about such a tournament is for SAFA? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a core of football development. And we've been missing all these things. Because we start the thing, you check all the tournaments that are played. They either they are played for two years and they disappear. And we need to be honest, coaches, they know what I'm talking about. You can't develop a player for, for six months and claim that you produce a, a, a player. I mean, if you look at engine, what they've done, the, the, the players that they've played engine, some of these players, they play for four years in the engine. Because at that, that, that time, I think the strategical part of it is you have also changed the age. And, and if you look at the, what's happening, that we started the under 17. Now they've seen there's a gap because that player plays at 16 years or 17 years, the, the player disappears. Now the player who, who's 15 years, from 15 years, 16 years, 17 years can play. 
So that means that player can play for three years, and that player has been given an opportunity to travel to, to Egypt. And the partnership, I mean, for us, is uh, SAFA, Johannesburg. Let me be specifically about Johannesburg, uh, so they, they know, I mean, the, 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 the vice guys, they know. We're the first one to say, they relax, don't worry about what it said on the training, on the media, or whatever. Our partnership, it's, it's, it's a merit, there's no divorce. Provided Egypt bring a divorce papers to us, <laughs> so, so we 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 are covered. And they must relax. That they must keep on. You, I see the guys are hiding themselves. I mean, we need, we need to take these guys. I mean, they don't sleep. I understand. They 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 they, 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 they make sure. You know, people see that they are sitting there. You don't know who brought that chair there. You are you are, you are taking water. You don't know who brought that chair there. In an African, you know what I'm talking. African knowledge. You need to thank people. If you are a visitor, you get food, you go to hotel. And, and, and the, the thing, we're sitting here. The corporate, you see the brands, uh, brand SA have taken a, a shift in our, in our, in our football. Uh, our, our, our share is something with Kevin now. If you look at the, the Bafana Bafana Banyana Banyana, you look at the, at the, at the South Africa, where the diversity, diversity part of it. If you look at that, what we're missing that, we are missing that to bring other 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 things. The Indian community, let me put it back to football. We used to have uh, I mean, Kevin here tell you about uh, Bamji, Sulu Bamji, those players that used to play. You you you, you look at the strikers that we had in Little Tovi, 1996, in Little Tovi, come uh, Tingle, uh, We are not having those players. They've disappeared. And I think this this we need to also bring as Safa bring the, the space for that and so talk to all the communities. Let the boys come back and play and the girls. And to women football, bravo to that because we as a region, Johannesburg, we're the strong region. We'll see that every year our team get promoted to to this uh, National League or Sasso League. And we're happy that uh, the champions come from Johannesburg. Uh, it's UJ. And I see that sitting together UJ and Vincent there. <laughs> So we are also showing other regions how things are done, you understand? And, and that, that, that's our work. And we appreciate a, a corporate, because without corporate, there's nothing that you can do. And, and we are also the corporate, we are starting to, the players are learning to say, if a player wears Adidas or Nike or all these things, those are brands. So you need to start education, even the brands at school. You know, there's a, there must be a marketing related matters at school to even in football because that's why football we are missing that and I'm happy that uh, this tournament has come and we are, we are happy as to respect that we are, we, are, we, are, we are hosting we are happy that there are referees we are happy that the, 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 the technical point of view of football you understand I think what we need to do Kevin and, 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 and the thing the other and then not now but think about it you know let's think out of, out of the box to say all the problems that you go Maybe we need to start having squad, you know, have a squad from out there playing against all these things so that uh, people can see, so that when national under 20 comes, the national coach can see the, the, the best players and the coaches have got work to do. Because I can tell you, when you talk Sundowns, they're looking for themselves. <laughs> the kids are chiefs, they're here, they're smiling with us, but when they start waking, I can tell you, help get loose. But well done to everybody and good luck. Thank you very much. So I'm going to call on the Senior Operation Manager um, of the host club, Kapungo Mubanga, to come and just take us through the draw and also um, we can also uh, conduct the draw. Maybe that the um, Senior Operations Manager firstly can just come and say a few words also. Maybe if you can get the mic uh, from the gentleman there before we get into the draw. So maybe just before we get into the draw, um, Benga, just um, Profil was saying the president that you guys are always in the background, but you do a lot of work in putting the tournament together. What does it take to put such a tournament together? Um, thank you very much, Tabisolo, uh, and also thank you to AJ. Um, it, it, it's a lot of work, um, it's a lot of hours. Um, you can imagine we had 138 teams fighting for 10 spots in this tournament uh, this year, so, uh, th and that was part of the qualifiers. So there's a lot that goes into it, uh, there's a lot of man hours getting here early, leaving late. So you can understand uh, 
Uh, there's going to be a lot of tired guys uh, on Monday, uh, but they still need to come to work. So we we run a tight ship here. Yes, and, and talking about that, what was really fascinating last year for those who were here is that we had um, we had lightning during the games. We had lightning during the games. Nobody saw it coming. But these guys were so prepared that they had a lightning monitor that tells us when it reaches a certain mark, then we must go off the field. If it's at a certain mark, then we can play. And it was really comforting to know that they were prepared for every single eventuality. We didn't expect lightning to come out. I've never had lightning in the years that I've been doing this tournament. But to see how prepared you were, it was really, um, it was really wonderful. And uh, we are grateful that you're hosting us again. And uh, the tournament is here. We look forward to another wonderful tournament. Thank you very much. You. Uh, we, we do try uh, our level best to ensure that uh, all games do play. So in any eventuality, games will play. It's part of development. It's also towards you as coaches to be able to, 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 to let the players know to be able to adapt. If we have to move a time schedule, we're going to have to move it, but uh, adaptability becomes very important. Okay. And when are you going to win the tournament? <laughs> Um, we're working on it. Uh, we have brought in uh, a very good coach, a technical team, you know the story. Uh, we're hoping um, we've got a consultant from the last uh, best team that won it, uh, where all the players now go to. So uh, we're looking good this year. We always um, we, we work in development a lot. Uh, our junior club is more than 30 years old. It's one of the oldest uh, junior clubs and we one of the oldest uh, university football or football teams in the country. So we look to develop um, the competitive edge is there and we'll continue to have it. Okay, now glad to hear that. I thought the mandate was not to win it, but to make sure the tournament is a success because I can't remember the last time you guys won it. But um, Mutsu um, can come up now. Muntu is the tournament director also. Uh, we're going to go through the draw now. Remember, it is uh, 16 teams, boys and girls. So it's 32 teams that we have in total. It will be four groups of four, like um, we have in any other province. And then the top two in that group, ladies and um, the boys tournament, will then make it through to the knockout stages. And then the other teams that fall out of the knockout stages or don't make it will play for positions. We had that in uh, Devon also uh, this past weekend where they were playing for positions. Usually, the, some of the teams are seeded, but Mutsu can take us through that and explain the seeding process also. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you, Tabiso. Uh, firstly, I'd just like to call on Gordon to please assist me with the draw. Um, I'll explain how, we, how the draw will go. We'll start with the under-18 boys. We have seeded four teams, uh, which is last year's semi-finalists, the Super Sport, Sundowns, School of Excellence, and Kaiser Chiefs, the defending champions. So the first ball that we draw will go into A1, second ball, B1, third ball, C1, and the final, and the final one will be D1. So the seeded teams are in the first ball, and then we will then add um, the teams going forward. So Gordon, can you please um, start with the first ball? And this will go to be to A1. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the seeded teams, right? Yes. We start with the seeded team and the team that comes out first is Mamelodi Sundowns. As you shake the balls, you need to feel them whether they are hot or cold. The next team comes out, School of Excellence. Made it to the semi-finals last year. Lost to Kaiser Chiefs. And we have Kaiser Chiefs as expected. Defending champions of the Engine Knockout Challenge and the Engine Champ of Champs. So they go into Group C. And the last team is Supersport United, also won it multiple times, Supersport United, always committed to this tournament. So these are the four seeded teams, School of Excellence, the only PSL team that is there. 
but they played very well uh, last year, impressed a lot of people. I saw one of their videos went viral on social media because of the football that they were playing at the tournament. First team that joins Mamelodi Sundowns in A2. Remember Elite Sports Academy, are we here? Remember Elite Sports Academy? Okay, they're not here. They're gonna get the shock of their lives when they find that they play Sundowns. <laughs> Uh, the team that goes into Group B to join School of Excellence, Zamini 11 Experience, Brazil. They are here, Zamini. They are here, Zamini. I remember Zamini. Welcome back, uh, Zamini. Going into Group C. Oh, okay, it's getting hot there. University of Pretoria, Amatax, will go into Group C to join the defending champions, Kaiser Chiefs. They've avoided Super Sport for now. And going into Group D, we have Northwest University, the Val region with Supersport United. Okay. Third team that joins the Sundowns. Renbeck. Thank you, Renbeck. I know you've got a very good program going on there in Renbeck. So good to see Renbeck FC back in the tournament. Going into Group B, oh, Rosina Sitibane, School of Excellence, and Lamini 11 Experience. That's an interesting group, actually. And going into Group C to join Chiefs and Tats will be Jobek City. Are we here, Jobek City? Welcome, Jobek City. You've got Chiefs and Tats. Great group to make a name for yourselves. And joining Group D with Supersport and NW. Val is Tex Galaxy. Tex Galaxy back in the tournament again, formerly known as Beatrice Vets. <laughs> <laughs> and the last group to go into Group A, the last team, we're going into Group A to join Sundowns, Ressa, and Renbeck FC. It's Vets. It's Vets, so they, let's see if they can even get out of this group. <laughs> Yeah? Who's shaking, Bravil? Are they shaking? Oh, they need to shake the balls. I thought Vez was shaking. Okay, School of Excellence, Jamini 11 Experience, Rosina Sidivani, the last team in Group B is Orlando Pirates. Oh, this reminds me of a fixture last year. We will leave it for those who are not here. That's a story for another day. What? That was crazy. <laughs> and then Panorama, Panorama have been very successful in this tournament. They've played some good football, they've got Chiefs, Tax, and um, Jobic City. Ethan Brooks was there, Panorama, right? Yes. Ethan Brooks was at Panorama, he played in this tournament, I remember him. And then to complete Group D, K West Academy joins Tex Galaxy. They joined Northwest University in the VAR and Supersport United. Are we here, K West Academy? Okay, K West Academy will spread the message. We will send out the, the draw, obviously, to all the teams that were not able to join us today. But just to confirm, then, in Group A, we have Mamelodi Sundowns, remember Elite Sports Academy, Redback AFC, and uh, Vets. Looks like a nice open group there, Group A. Group B is very interesting, School of Excellence. And Rosina Sitivana, they pride themselves in developing players. Zamini 11 experience can come and tell the show here with the football that they play. And I would think Orlando Pirates have a point to prove uh, this year after what happened last year. So that makes up Group B. We'll see a repeat of the fixture between School of Excellence and Orlando Pirates. Pirates won that game, right? Eh? Yes. Yeah. They did. Yes. Pirates won that game, but School of Excellence went through. <laughs> Group C, we have the defending champions, Kaiser Chiefs, Tax, Jobic City, and a Panorama, another nice group open. Chance for the teams also to topple the defending champions. And Group D, finally, Supersport United takes Galaxy, the two PSL teams, Northwest University, Val, and K West Academy. It completes the draw of the under 18 boys tournament at the Engine Knockout Challenge, and I think. We can say the draw is open. Or is there a group of dead teams, coaches? No group of dead. Okay. Could be. Maybe could be in it. With school and Rosina. 
and Lamini. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the ladies' draw. Uh, we've also seeded four teams. Uh, we seeded the defending champions, UJ, and three Hollywood bad teams, which is University of Pretoria, JBW, and Mabuloni Sundowns. So we'll start with the seeded teams. Okay, thank you. The first city team that comes out is the University of Pretoria. Tax, Hollywood Bet Super League team. They go into group A. The next city team will go into group B. <laughs> Don't tell me it's UJ. It is UJ. <laughs> <laughs> UJ goes into Group B. Okay, defending champions of the knockout and the champ of champs. They have internationals in that team. And JVW, okay, another Hollywood Pets team goes into Group C. We saw they've got great support um, JVW. They support the sport has come out in their numbers. And Mamelodi Sundowns ladies will go into uh, Group D. They had Andesul Toy and Rada Malawudzi on the bench last season. Springs Home Sweepers will go into Group A. Most of their players have kept for Banyana Banyana now, after yesterday's game. So it's a tough group with Banyana Internationals. Going into Group B to join UJ, we have Captain Park ladies. Kenton Park ladies won it the year before UJ. There were uh, teams that players that were picked to the national team. And then the German International Academy. We welcome the German International Academy. They will go into Group C there. German International Academy. And then Panorama ladies. Panorama ladies team goes into Group D with Mameloni Sundowns as the second team. So let's see who joins Tax Banyana in Group A. We have to this ball, so they don't... Are they not heated up? Like Champions League. Okay, let's know we believe you the balls are fine. Tax, Springs, Home Sweepers, and Vets. UJ, who do you want? You've got it in your own hands. You can choose anyone you want to join you and Captain Park, ladies. You've gone for blue beds, okay? Blue beds, are you here, blue beds? Blue beds, you've been handpicked here. Yeah. They don't see you in this group. Group C, JPW, German International Academy, Rosina Sitibani. Rosina Sitibani with the girls team in Group C. And Matuana, ladies. Will join Sundowns and Panorama in Group D. Is Bantwana ladies the SA under 17? Because they call Bantwana. Okay, interesting. Last group to go into Group A will be Lakeside Future Stars. Lakeside Future Stars, so our Group A for the ladies tournament is completed. Remember, it's an under 20 tournament in the ladies. And Mito Stars will join UJ, Kempton Park, Blue Beds in Group B. You must choose which one you want. Yeah, now you must choose JVW. <laughs> to join JVW, the German International School, Rosina, that already seems like a tough group. Let's see who joins them. Jobek United. Okay, Jobek United. I think you, you've also got a chance to make a name for yourself in this group with JVW and Rosina. And the last team to join Group D is Nokem Park. They've avoided Captain Park ladies, so Nokem Park will go into the group with Mamelodi Sundowns ladies, with Rosina, with Panorama, with Bantuana ladies, as well as Nokem Park. So let's just confirm the groups. Group A, we have Tax, Springs, Home Sweepers, Vets, Lakeside Future Stars, Group B, Defending Champions, UJ, Former Champions, Captain Park ladies, Blue Vets and Mito Stars, Group C, JVW, German International Academy, Rosina Sitibane, Jobek United, and Group D Sundowns Ladies, Panorama, Bandwana Ladies, and Nokem Park. We're all happy with the draw. Is it clear? No objections? No protests? 
Any group of them? Hey. <laughs> Tax, Spring Home, Supers, Lakeside, and who? And Vets. Oh, you're counting Vets there. Okay, Vets. Good luck then to the teams.